Good morning YouTube. How are you this morning? We're gonna hang out, wait for a few folks to show up and see what's happening this morning. See what kind of lag time we got. Eye for an eye. Good morning sir. How are you? Charles, good morning. Billy Martin, how you doing brother? Have you put out a second video yet, Billy? I've been waiting on it, man. I want to see where that knife goes. John Coffey, good morning. And uh, thanks for the comment this morning on the uh, video just put out. Jake, howdy. Old James, <laughs> it's good to see you, brother. It is good to see you. Wow, people are streaming in here. People are saying good morning quicker than I can read them. Paul, hello. Joe, Greg, hmm, Wyndham Cross, Greg, David, Penny Brown, how are you? Shamrock Forge, good morning, sir. Old Wolf, good morning. Good morning, good morning. We're going to back up here a little bit. And thanks for all showing up. This is awesome. We got, uh, I don't know, a few people watching here. My little watcher thing isn't showing up very well. So, how is everyone this fine Sunday morning, if it is Sunday in your part of the world, wherever you may be? I'll try not to slurp in your ear. Oh, have fun with that. I will, John. I'm, I think I've got a special project for that piece of stainless. That's going to be uh, cool. Good morning, Richard Bright. How are you? Gregory, good morning, sir. Hey, man, brother. <laughs> Video looks good. The new camera? No, this is the old camera. You guys need to tell me how to turn that new camera into a, a live stream type camera. I can't figure it out. I think I need a capture device of some sort. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. Having a little bit of buffering, and I was worried about that. I'm going to change one setting here real quick. Let me go over to this thing. And I wasn't so sure about the uh, setting, but we're going to get there real fast. Bear with me, guys. We're going to change this right there. All right, hopefully that'll uh, fix your buffering problem. Not sure. Let me know. We got 47 people who have joined us this morning. The pack has arrived. The big dog pack of hammerheads. You guys are just crawling out of the woodwork. It's awesome. Love this. So the last couple of days, just to update you on the little channel a little bit, we've gained about 150 subscribers in no small part to Roy Adams and his shout outs, um, Blackbeard Project and his shout outs that he's doing. Um, I want to thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. It's helping the little channel grow. We're getting to 20,000 subscribers a lot sooner than I thought we would. Oh, Andrew, good morning. Looks good to you, huh? Great. Blacksmithing, Jacob Robertson. Morning, David All. It's good here. Excellent. Mike Lowry. Hello from Tennessee. Hello, Mike. You guys are a little later in the day than I am. The sun's just coming up here. <sighs> Greg, just watch the mail call. Hope you guys are enjoying that. Sorry about the. I got this hideous disfigurement on my face, and it was in that video, and I'm like, oh god, that's gross. Anyway. I figure it's all right. <laughs> Let's see. Dustin, hello from CA. How are you? We County Line Forge. Good morning, sir. It's good to see you. I need to remember to look up at you guys. You're up here. I keep reading and it's kind of weird, but you know, whatever. Uh, no longer buffering, but the sound is behind it. Very well could be three on my end. Okay, yeah, you guys give me a little sound check and let me know how things are doing. Five minutes past. It is. 
Blackbeard Projects does some cool stuff. I, Blackbeard and I have been communicating for a long time, and he is one of the most awesome dudes on YouTube. He's, he's an incredible maker, and um, he does some really cool stuff. He's a great guy, really, really nice guy. If some of you guys haven't seen Blackbeard Projects, check him out on YouTube. He does everything from 3D printing to blacksmithing, and uh, he does a lot of casting, a whole bunch of stuff. Check him out. He's an awesome, awesome guy. And I'm sure that most of you have seen Roy Adams at Christ Centered Ironworks. If you haven't, go check him, him out. He's a super guy, just super guy. He's uh, wise beyond his years. He obviously paid attention when somebody said, listen, well, if he's anything like me, he didn't start out that way. But, you know, somebody probably knocked some sense into him, which is, you know, what typically happens with those kinds. Hmm. Davi. Benny Brown. Same in the UK. 2 p.m. there. Thanks, Penny, for that. I really appreciate it. I like knowing what time it is around the world while these things are going on. It's pretty cool. 1506. Christian Nielsen, how are you? 306, 1506, brings me back to my military guys, Liam Buck, hey guys, good afternoon, hello Liam, how you doing, done, g'day Tim, I'd stick around but I'm tired, have a good day, you too buddy, take care of yourself, and uh, just to let you know, we're going to have some uh, blacksmithing videos coming out here real soon, as a matter of fact, when I'm done with this, getting right out into the shop and it's going to be uh, blacksmithing and videoing for the next several hours. Should be up soon. Sound is good here in Bama. Thanks, old James. I really appreciate that. Shamrock Forge. Close the stream and reopen it. Fix the sound lag for me. Excellent. Good to know. Good to know. Drayson, 69. How you doing, brother? It's good to see you. Grandfather Tech, video feed perfect here. Thank you. So, I have a question for you guys. And it's something that's been bugging me for a while. And uh, don't know that anybody knows this. But if somebody could find something out, I've looked as far as I can. One of the YouTubers that I love very, very much, Blacksmith, has just sort of disappeared. I haven't heard anything about him or from him in a very long time. Lives in England. His name is Rowan Taylor. And uh, I don't know what happened to him. It's a mystery. And he was in the middle of making a thing, uh, again, from the Sutton Who Dig, I believe. And uh, just haven't seen him. <sighs> so if anybody knows anything, or anybody knows Rowan, or something about him, or whatever, um, it'd be awesome to to uh, hear what happened to him, what he's up to, what's going on. I hope he's okay. Richard Bryant, 0908 in Missouri. Gregory, 10 here in Pennsylvania. Good morning, everyone. Steve Stokes, how you doing? Mm. What's my plans for my surface, Greg? Uh, Craig Nicholson. Sorry, it's it's these glasses. I'm having a, a little bit further back. You know, it's playing the old trombone thing. Anyway, but uh, I changed them out. They're not so glary. So um, it takes me a second to catch up here. But anyway, Craig Nicholson was asking, what's the plans for the surface grinder? I've got a couple of different... Uh, pieces of equipment that I've been kind of hoarding aside and I'm going to take them and combine them into a conglomeration to make a uh, surface grinder and I'm going to take you guys along for that ride. Again, it's going to be made out of uh, pretty much junk pile stuff. It's kind of what I do just to see how far we can get before we actually have to purchase anything. So we'll see what happens. Jordan, any tools you can pass on would be a great help for Anyone, man. You the man, Tim. Well, I try, but I think you're the man, Jason. I'm just a tag-along, buddy. I'm just a tag-along. But more than happy to work in the shadow of such greatness as the Forging It Forward group. It would, it does my heart good. I'm bear with a bear. Good morning. I just saw you pop up there. How you doing? Looks like we got 73 online now. 
Jake Jordan says 74. You guys must be a little ahead of me here. As usual, everyone's always a little ahead of me. Tom Q. Morning from Panama. Tim looks and sounds great. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the feedback. That's awesome. Got the wife's permission to build a power hammer. Do you have experience on any others? Do you like yours best? Trying to decide on a type. I'm going to rant for a minute here. Not rant. I'm going to talk for a minute while you guys chat. So chat amongst yourselves. My experience with power hammers. The very first one I ever built, there's a uh, sort of a held hammer type thing built from a car block engine that's on YouTube. It's called the original power hammer. And when that thing came out years ago, I built one of those. I built it out of a, it was a little smaller scale, but I built it out of a, uh, just like a Ford Pinto block crankshaft. Um, I had a 300 pound block with some legs on it. And um, I built it with a leaf spring pretty much the same way they built it. And it worked well. It didn't work the way I liked it. I could never quite get the hammer to swing quite right and it always came down at an angle because it has a uh, has an arc rotation to it so i went from that and i built a pneumatic hammer with a very large pneumatic piston on it it had solenoids and it was fine i liked that but um and it did a really good job but it required a lot of air and my compressor was running constantly I went out and bought a bigger compressor and it just you know, the, sh the noise in the shop from the compressor running all the time was just a little bit too much for me. So um, I got away from that guy and I built sort of a prototype to Scrappy. And I had been looking at the little giants. I was going to buy one. And I just couldn't bring myself to spend the cash on that and have it shipped. And the shipping was the thing that, that killed me. It was coming from the East Coast. There aren't many of those out here on the West Coast. The ones that are here are pretty much being used and people do not want to let go of them so and the cost of a new like a big blue hammer or something like that or shipping a pilkington from somewhere it's just way too over the top so i gathered up my scrap pile and built scrappy and i literally built scrappy from pictures that uh i could find from you know little giants and watching them on youtube stuff like that and it ended up being the best design you can control the spring you can control the weight you can control the travel and it just for me works the best and uh, i can do all sorts of stuff with tooling so my answer for me in my opinion um scrappy was the best design for me is it perfect and eh, i could use a little tweak here and there but i've been evolving it since i made it so and it will continue to evolve as the cash flows in, that kind of stuff. Um, and that's that's a bit of a slow process, but that's okay because it's getting me where I need to go. So if you were gonna build something, there's a lot of plans for tire hammers out there, and those didn't become popular until after I had started building Scrappy. So I didn't really look at those very closely, but I've um, seen them up close. The American Blacksmiths Association in Longview, Kelso, Washington has one in their demonstration shop that I got to play with and they're, they're quite a hammer. They're really good. If you can bolt them down to the floor um, so they're stable, I would probably look at a, um, a tire hammer and plans for that. You can find them all over the place. So that would be my thing. You guys are awesome. We are up to Oh, about 80 watching at the moment from what it says, 81. Wow, this is incredible. We are going to go for another five minutes. And somebody was asking about this thing that looks like a... You guys are going to tell me what it is. Because for the life of me, the old brain pan isn't working this morning. So let me step over here. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. It is a piece of artwork that was done by me. I've done several of these things, like a Sterling engine, and it uh, got a walking arm on it. I don't even know if you can see that thing in the frame. This one actually has a gear that drives this little wheel right here. 
And I've built a lot of these things. I like these little Sterling engine model things. And it, yes, it works very well. So there you go. It's not a still, although sometimes I wish it was. So we could have some sacramental wine. Anyway, <laughs> let me get rid of this thing. I don't even know where to put it. Let's just set it down right there. Oh, maybe I'll do a video on building some of that kind of stuff someday. Hey, we are almost to 80 people watching. That is so freaking cool. You guys are the best. Oh, let's see. Cypherin on a different note. When you get the copy mug design and all, can I make a request? Please make a cup bigger. I'll have one of the other ones and it makes for too many trips to the pot. I actually have thought about that because I like coffee myself and this cup is an average size cup, but I've got some coming that are much larger than this for serious coffee drinkers. So yes, request accepted. Ah, Liam Scott, that's awesome, Tim. Love things like that. Uh, let's see, steam engine of some kind. That's actually a Sterling engine. Oh. This guy is the steam engine, the wobbly steam engine. And if you go to, uh, I don't know, it's like Marpet. 222 or I can't remember his name. Anyway, YouTuber, he did a uh, casting of one of these, cast all the pieces and parts, and uh, watched that, and I was like, hmm, I want to give that a try. So uh, I cast all these pieces and parts and machined them all out, and that's my steam engine. I actually made two of those, and somebody bought one of them from me, and these are, like I said, these are the molds for that steam engine. So in the future, if you guys would like to see some casting videos, I do all sorts of that kind of stuff as well. So let me know what you think. An old steam engine powered by candles. Yes, that's exactly right. You can only afford candles. <laughs> oh, let's see. That is totally cool. Thanks, Ben. Really like it. I will certainly put you down for a coffee cup that size or bigger. You guys will be able to see the different sizes. I'll show them to you when they get here. It should be a couple of weeks from what I understand, but I've ordered quite a few. I looked up Forge of Forward. I'm still a very much a beginner and need some proper education to use what I have. Yep. And uh, when you get there, if you got any questions, there's a bunch of us on this forum right here or on this uh, live stream right here that can answer them for you. So you can go to County Line Forge. You can go to Jason at HOJ Forge. You can send me messages and questions. We well, are all more than happy to help you out. And I believe the face, I don't know, the uh, forging it forward, I think Jason may have a section in there for mentoring and helping folks with just questions as well. So uh, one of you guys can elaborate on that. I think that that would uh, probably help you out quite a bit. Tim, I think it's simply called a beam engine. It is a walking beam type engine and uh, it's actually just uh, differential pressure and it was I believe it's a they call them a sterling engine at least from what I understand but uh, yeah they just run on heat under the bottom there's no other fuel just heat and it's a heat transfer that creates a pressure differential between the top and the bottom of the cylinder let's see let's go down here and see what you guys are talking about uh, Cool beans. Excellent. So you guys. Jason says, yep, we're all here to help. Yes, we are. It's an important thing. This blacksmithing community is holding together a lot of folks. And I wanted to mention um, Chandler Dickinson. If you guys haven't checked out his um, latest 
forge side chat and you don't know what's going on with Chandler as he explains it he's going to be losing his shop which is a very sad thing I've enjoyed Chandler's videos for a very long time um, I have not corresponded with the man much um, he seems to be a pretty decent fellow but he's losing his shop and um, he did not out and out ask for help but there's a bunch of folks jumping in and trying to give him some help uh, to get himself situated whatever that means for him in the future but if you get a chance check out Chandler and if there's you know something you can do for him um, let him know or you know even just moral support helps a guy out when they're in time of need like that and I do not know the whole story as to why he's losing his shop some sort of a small drama type thing I don't know what it is but um, you might want to check out Chandler Dickinson it's like I got a feel for the guy right now I've been in his shoes and it's no fun anyway moving on so we are at an hour and two guys I am gonna have to shut this down thank you so much for showing up um, I cannot say thanks enough there have been we were up to just about 80 viewers on this one which is awesome that is just incredible to me you guys are you rock that's just it you're, you're just the best so thanks guys we're gonna shut this down um, I will be putting out another video too I put one out this morning uh, just a bunch of mail opening stuff if you want to check that out we got some cool projects coming up from that in the near future and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon alrighty see you Billy take care Jason we'll see you soon brother Liam see ya oh John Bishop take care and Mike G have a good one buddy big DD have a great day big see ya take care John coffee be potty one laws take care See you, Ben. All right, I could go on for an hour and a half here. James, County Line, take care of yourself, brother. I'll talk to you soon. And I will definitely hit you next live stream. All right, guys, we're going to call this one done. Thanks for everything. I do appreciate it. And we will see you next time right here at Big Dog Forge. Next Sunday, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.